Hello everyone. I am Dr. Krishna Sarkar. Here in this session, I will be going to discuss about root locus problem. This is problem number three. Draw the root locus for the open loop transfer function g of s, h of s equals to k by s into s plus 4, s square plus 4, s plus 13. So our problem number 3 and the open loop transfer function g of s, h of s equals to k by s into s plus 4, s square plus 4s plus 13. So draw the root locus and determine the stability of the system. Solution. First, step number one. Step one. Step one, starting point. Starting points. What is the definition of starting points? The root locus starts k equals to zero. The root locus starts k equals to zero from the open loop pulls. Here the open loop transfer function g of s h of s equals to k by s into s plus 4 s square plus 4 s plus 13 and root locus starts k equals to 0. The characteristics equation 1 plus g of s h of s equals to 0. Put here the value of g of s h of s. What is the value? k by s into s plus 4 s square plus 4s plus 13. This is the characteristics equation. This is the characteristics equation. And then this is equivalent to s into s plus 4 s square plus 4s plus 13 plus k equals to 0. So what is the definition? Root locus starts k equals to 0. k equals to 0. So put here k equals to 0. Then we get s into s plus 4, s square plus 4s plus 13 equals to zero. Then calculate the position of poles. In this case, in this case, so s into s plus 4, s square plus 4s plus 13 equals to zero. Then case one, s equals to 0 or k equals to 0. S2, S2, s equals s plus 4 equals to 0 or k equals to 0. Then s equals to minus 4. s equals to minus 4. And case number three, case three, s square plus four s plus 13 equals to zero. And this is equivalent to s is equals to minus b plus minus root over b square minus four a c equals to 13 by two a. This is equivalent to minus b plus minus 
root over b square minus 4 into 13 by 2 and this is equals to minus 2 plus minus tz. So the poles position 1 is equals to 2 plus 3z and another point is equals to minus 2 minus 3z. So the four poles is equals to 0, is equals to minus 4, is equals to minus 2 plus 3z and is equals to minus 2 minus 3z. Then plot the pole 0 position. This is real axis. This is imaginary axis. First pole at s equals to 0 for k equals to 0. Second pole s equals to minus 4 for k equals to 0. Third pole, this is the minus 2 point s equals to minus 2 plus 3z and s equals to minus 2 minus 3z or k equals to 0. Write down here also k equals to 0. So all the poles left hand side of the S plane, so open loop system stable, all the poles left hand side s equals to 0 k equals to 0 s equals to minus 4 k equals to 0 s equals to minus 2 plus 3 z k equals to 0 s equals to minus 2 minus 3 z for k equals to 0. So this is the pole 0 location and all the poles left hand side of the s plane. So open loop system stable. So this is the starting point root local starts k equals to 0 from the open loop poles. So what is the starting point k equals to 0 means s equals to 0 at origin. This is one starting point. Another starting point is equals to minus 4 for k equals to 0 and s equals to minus 2 plus 3z for k equals to 0, s equals to minus 2 minus 3z for k equals to 0, for k equals to 0. So th these are all starting point. Then step number 2, then step number 2, ending point. Step 2, so write down here, write down step 2, ending point, ending points. What is the definition? Root locus terminates root locus terminates k equals to infinity. k equals to what? k equals to infinity. Either on open loop zeros or infinity. Either on open loop zeros or infinity. So write down root locus terminates k equals to infinity either on open loop zeros or infinity. In this case, the open loop transfer function g of s h of s equals to k by s into s plus 4 s square plus 4 s plus 13. There is no open loop zeros, numerator value zeros. So there is no open loop zeros. That why, that's why root locus terminates at infinity, at infinity. And then prove that. The characteristics equation equals to what? 1 plus g of s, h of s equals to 0. So put here 1 plus k by s into s plus 4 into s square plus 4s plus 13 equals to 0. Then this is equivalent to s into s plus 4 s square plus 4 is plus 13 plus k 
equals to zero. So what is the definition? Root locus terminates k equals to infinity. So put here infinity. Infinity plus something infinity. That means this value negligible. S into S plus four, S square plus four S plus 13 negligible. Negligible. So root locus terminates k equals to infinity points because there is no open loop zero. So in this case, root locus terminates open loop zeros and the four open loop, four terminating points, infinity, 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 and infinity. And the starting point s equals to zero, k equals to zero, s equals to minus four, k equals to zero, s equals to minus two plus minus three is a. This is the starting point. This is the starting point and this is the ending point or terminating point or terminating point. Root locus starts k equals to zero, s equals to zero and terminating point infinity, s equals to minus four, k equals to zero and terminating point infinity, s equals to minus two plus three z and minus two minus three z and the terminating point also infinity. So root locus terminate, in this case, infinity point. Then step number three. Step three. Step three. Number of branches, N-U-M, B-E-R, number of number of branches. What is the definition of number of branches? The number of branches of the root locus, the number of branches of the root locus plot denoted by n. Number of branches equals to that means n and n equals to p. If p greater than z, where p equals to number of poles and z equals to number of zeros, that means when Number of poles greater than number of zeros. That means P O L E S poles greater than zeros. Number of poles greater than number of zeros, then number of branches equals to number of poles. The number of branches equals to number of poles. And when n equals to z, if z greater than p, that means zeros greater than P-O-L-E-S. So this is the definition for number of branches. In our problems, this problem, in this problem, number of poles equals to what? Number of poles equals to four. And number of, and the poles position S is equals to zero, S is equals to minus four, and S is equals to minus two, minus two plus three Z, and S is equals to minus two minus three Z. And number of zeros equals to zero. That means number of branches N equals to four because four greater than zero or number of poles greater than number of zeros. So number of branches equals to four. This is the very important root locus for root locus plot, the number of branches calculation, the number of branches equals to four. This, this particular problem, the number of branches. Then point of asymptotes. What is the definition of point of asymptotes or step number four? Points, points of a S Y M P P O T E S point of number of point of asymptotes. What is the definition of point of asymptotes? What is the definition? The point of asymptotes, if point of asymptotes equals to sigma, suppose point of asymptotes equals to sigma, then sigma equals to summation of poles. 
minus summation of zeros by P minus Z. This is the definition. Summation of poles minus summation of zeros divided by P minus Z or P minus Z, summation of poles minus summation of Z, P minus Z. In this case, sigma equals to what? Summation of poles, pole position zero plus minus four plus minus two plus three Z plus minus two minus three Z minus zero equals to zero. Divided by number of poles equals to four minus zeros. So plus three Z minus three Z cancel out. Then minus eight by four, this is equivalent to minus two. So sigma equals to minus two. So number of sorry, point of asymptotes equals to minus two. Point of asymptotes equals to minus two. Then calculate step number five, angle of asymptotes. Angle of asymptotes. Step number five. GLE angle of SYMP angle of asymptotes. So what is the definition of angle of asymptotes? Angle of asymptotes, suppose theta k. Theta k equals to 2k plus 1 whole into 180 degree by P minus Z, where K equals to starting from 0, 1, 2, and 3 for four poles. The number of branches also four, that's why K equals to 0, 1, 2, and 3. So case number one, case one, for k equals to 0. For k equals to 0, what is the value of angle of asymptotes theta 0? 2 into 0 plus 1 whole into 180 degree by 4 minus 0 by 4 minus 0. Then calculate theta 0. What is the value of theta zero? 180 degree by four. Forty five degrees. So theta zero equals to forty five degree. Then case number two. Case two for k equals to 1. Then theta 1 equals to 2 into 1 plus 1 whole into 180 degree divided by 4 minus 0. This is equivalent to 3 into 180 degree by 4. That means 135 degree. Similarly, Case number three for, for k equals to two, then theta two equals to two into two plus one whole into 180 degree by four minus zero equals to 5 into 180 degree y 4 equals to 225 degree. Then calculate case number 4 for k equals to 3. So case 3 
S4, S4 for A equals to 3, then theta 3 equals to 2 into 3 plus 1 whole into 180 degree by P minus Z equals to 7 into 180 degree by 4 equals to C15 degree. C15 degree. So the angle of asymptotes and point of asymptotes plot. Next step angle of asymptotes and point of asymptotes plot. So step number, step number, what is the step number? Step number six. Step number six. So write down here, step six. Step six. This is the real axis. This is the imaginary axis. Real, imaginary, or sigma z omega axis. Then plot here. S is equals to 0. S equals to minus 4. This is also k equals to 0 k equals to 0, this is the point minus 2, at that point and s is equal to minus 2 plus 3z, similarly s is equal to minus 2 minus 3z and k equals to 0, k equals to 0. Point of asymptotes also, this is equal to sigma. Point of asymptotes equals to 2. And at that point, the angles are 45 degree. This is the 135 degree, 225 degree. And this value, 3, 1, 5 degree. So this angle angles 45 degree. This is 135 degree. This angle 225 degree. And finally, this angle C1. 5 degree. So point of asymptotes, this is the point of asymptotes and 45 degree, 135 degree, 225 degree and 315 degree angle of asymptotes. Then step number 7. Step number 7. Step number 7 Existence of the root locus, step seven. What is the definition? Existence Existence of the root locus, root locus on the real axis existence of the root locus on the real axis what is the process suppose this is the real axis and this is the imaginary axis or z omega axis. 
put here s equals to 0, k equals to 0, and s equals to minus 4, k equals to 0. Existence of the root locus on the real axis. Existence of the root locus on the real axis. So what is the process? Suppose this is the point A. This is the point A. At that point, draw one projection line. Draw one projection line. And this side, left hand side, and this is the right hand side. So what is the definition? Summation of poles plus summation of zeros equals to even or odd. If odd root locus exists, in this case, summation of poles equals to one, and summation of zeros equals to zeros, because right hand side, only one poles. That's why summation of poles plus zeros equals to odd. So root locus exists. Root locus exists. So this, this location, s equals to zero to s equals to minus four, root locus exists. This is very important point. Existence of the root locus on the real axis. Suppose this is another point B. With respect to point B, summation of poles plus summation of zeros equals to what? Summation of poles, this is number one poles, this is number two poles. So write down poles number equals to two, right hand side poles equals to two, this is right hand side, and this is left hand side. So right hand side number of poles equals to two, and number of zeros equals to zero. So this is equals to two even. So root locus does not exist. In between s equals to minus four, s equals to minus four, this is the point minus four, s equals to minus four to s equals to minus infinity. That means this is the suppose, this is breaking point, s equals to minus infinity or large value. Root locus does not exist because summation of poles plus zeros equals to even. So in this location, actually, this is the location. In this location, root locus does not exist. So existence of the root locus on the real axis. Then calculate breakaway point. Step number eight. Calculate breakaway point. Step eight. What is the definition of breakaway points? Breakaway point definition DK ds equals to zero. For root locus plot, the breakaway point definition dk ds equals to zero. dk ds equals to zero. And the characteristics equation, one plus z of s, h of s equals to zero. Put here the open loop transfer function, z of s, h of s, s plus four, s square plus 4s plus 13 equals to 0. Then this is equivalent to what? This is equivalent to s into s plus 4, s square plus 4s plus 13 plus k equals to 0. So s square plus 4s, s square plus 4s 
plus 13 plus k equals to 0. Then this is equivalent to s to the power 4, 4 s cube plus 13 s square plus 4 s cube plus 16 16 s square plus 52 s plus k equals to 0. Then s to the power 4 plus this is 8 s cube plus 13 29 s square plus 29 s square plus 52 s 52 s plus k equals to 0. So what is the value of k? k equals to k equals to minus 4 sorry s to the power 4 plus 8 s cube plus 29 s square plus 52 s This is the value of k. This is the value of k. s to the power 4 plus 8s cube plus 29s square plus 52s. Then calculate dk ds. Then calculate dk ds. What is the value of dk ds? So next space, write down again k equals to, k equals to what? k equals to minus s to the power 4 plus 8s cube plus 29s square plus 52s, I think s to the power 4 plus 8 s cube plus 29 s square plus 52 s then calculate dk ds then calculate dk ds so what is the value of dk ds dk ds equals to minus 4 s cube plus 24 s square plus 29 into 2 s plus 52. This is the value of dkds. For breakaway point, dkds equals to 0. That means 4 s cube plus 24 s square plus 29 into 2 into s plus 52 equals to 0. Then 4 common s cube plus plus 8 4 12 s plus 13 equals to 0. That means s cube plus 6 s square plus 12 s plus 13 equals to 0. Then calculate the value of s1, s2 and s3 because this is third order equation. This is third order equation. So what is the value? Just s plus 2 S plus 2, S plus 2 equals to 0. Then 
S square. That means S cube plus two S square plus four S square plus eight S plus plus I think this is the value of 4s cube plus 20, 4s square plus 29. This is the value, 4s cube plus 24, a 4s cube plus 8s, sorry, s to the power 4 plus 8s cube plus 29s square plus 52, 52 s then dk ds equals to dk ds equals to s plus 2 4 s2 plus 24 s square plus 24 s square plus 29 into this is 48, sorry. This is 48. So this is 48. So what is the value for S cube? Just vanishing method. S plus two, S plus two, and S plus two equals to zero. Then four S square, four S square plus four S cube. That means four S cube plus eight S square plus plus sixteen S plus sixteen S. 16s square plus 32s plus 26, 26s plus 52 equals to zero. So what is the value of s? This is the value, s plus two, S plus two, four S square plus sixteen S plus twenty six equals to zero. That means S is equal to minus two. And another value, and another value, four S square plus sixteen S plus twenty six equals to zero. That means S is equal to minus B plus minus root over B square minus 4 A C plus 2 A equals to minus 2 plus minus 1.58 G. So what is the breakaway point? The breakaway point equals to minus 2 and S equals to minus two plus 1.58 Z, S equals to minus two minus 1.58 Z. These are all breakaway points. So next calculate intersection point on the imaginary axis. Intersection, this is step number nine. Step nine, intersection point on the imaginary axis. Step nine. Intersection point. Oh. 
on the J omega axis. Intersection point on the imaginary axis. So what is the process or what is the definition? By Routh stability analysis techniques. So our characteristics equation actually, what is the characteristics equation? One plus G of S, H of S equals to zero. And this is equivalent to one plus K by S into S plus four, S plus four, S square plus four S plus 13 equivalent to zero. And this is equivalent to what? S to the power four plus eight S cube plus eight S cube plus 20, I think 20, 29 S square, I think 29 S square plus 52 S plus K equals to zero. So this is the, this is the characteristics equation of the systems. And from characteristics equation, what is the S to the power four rows? This, this, and this. That means 129K and S to the power three rows, eight and 52, eight, 52 zeros. So, route table, then determine the route table. What is the route table? S to the power four, S cube, S square, S to the power one, S to the power zero. First row coefficients. What is the first row coefficients? 129K, 129K. So this is 129K. And the second row, 852, 852, 852, zero. So calculate A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. This is table number one. Table, table one. So first calculate A. A equals to what? Eight into 29. Eight into 29 minus one into 52 divided by eight. And B equals to what? 8 into K minus 1 into 0 divided by 8. That means K. And A equals to what? Then calculate D. D equals to what? A into 52. A into 52 minus 8 into B divided by A. Then put A and calculate E. Similarly, E, A into 0, 8 into 0, that means 0, F also 0, and G equals to what? G equals to D into B, D into B minus A into E divided by, divided by Z. So calculate A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and also A is equals to zero and I equals to zero. So calculate, calculate a value. What is the magnitude of A? A equals to A equals to 
22.5 and B equals to K. D equals to what? D equals to 52 minus 0 0.35 K and E equals to zero, F equals to zero, D equals, Z equals to what? D equals to, sorry, Z equals to, Z equals to, again, K. Why K? Because D into B minus A into E by Z. This is equivalent to K. So the table number two, next space, table two. What is the table two? Rao's table two. Table two. Table two, S to the power four, three, two, one, zero. First value, one, twenty-nine, K, Second value, 8, 52, 0. Third value, 22.5, K, 0. And 52 minus 0 0.35, K, 0, 0. Similarly, K, 0, 0. This is the value. So what is the first column? From first column, this is the element one. So first column, first element one, this is greater than zero. Second row, first column, eight, this is also greater than zero. And this value, 22.5, greater than zero, but 52 minus 0 0.3, 5k greater than 0, that means k less than 148.6, k less than 148.6. If, if k less than 148.6, the system will be this value greater than 0. Stable. And if K equals to 148.6, then, 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 this is marginally stable. When, if K greater than 148.6, then this will be negative and Sine change plus two minus minus two plus two sciences two roots right hand side of the S planes. So in this case, this is unstable. This is unstable. So for K less than 148.6 system will be stable. K equals to 148.6 system marginally stable and K greater than 148.6 system, unstable. Then for K equals to 148.6, then this will be zero. This value will be zero. And the auxiliary equation, AS equals to 22.5 second order ultimate plus K, K equals to 148.6, 148.6, then 22.5 S square equals to minus 148.6 or S equals to plus minus 
root over 148.6 by 22.5. This is, I think, plus minus 2.56 G. So this is the intersection point on the imaginary axis. Intersection point on the imaginary axis for k equals to 148.6. This is very important for root locus, design of root locus. Intersection point on the imaginary axis is equals to plus minus 2.56j for k equals to 1.148.6. 148.6. This is the intersection point on the imaginary axis. And the last and final point, angle of departure. Angle of departure. What is the angle of departure? Step number, I think, 10. Angle of, angle of departure. angle of departure. This is also very important for complex conjugate pools. So for complex conjugate pools, the calculation of angle of departure. So first calculate, first draw the position of pole zero location. This is real, this is imaginary. S equals to zero, K equals to zero. S equals to minus four, K equals to zero. S equals to minus two plus three Z, K equals to zero. S equals to minus two minus three Z, K equals to zero. For angle of departure with respect to point, S equals to minus two plus three z, suppose, for k equals to zero. With respect to minus two plus three z, the angle of departure phi d equals to formula 180 degree minus phi p minus phi z, or phi of minus two plus three z equals to 180 degree minus phi of p minus phi of z. So calculate phi p and phi z and calculate phi of angle of departure, phi of minus two plus three z. So what is the first case? First, draw one projection from this point to s equals to zero point and this point to s equals to minus four point and draw parallel to real axis. And in this case, in this case, this is the phi p1 angle, phi p1. And this angle, phi p2 with respect to pole 4, minus 4. And this angle, phi p3. And this is the point minus 2. Then calculate phi p. What is the phi p? Phi p equals to phi p1 plus phi p2 plus phi p3. And what is the phi p1? Phi p1, total angle 180 degree. So 180 degree minus tan inverse, minus tan inverse b by a. This is the value B3, T by 2. And similarly for phi P2, again, phi P2, this is the perpendicular and this is the base. So what is the perpendicular by base? Tan inverse T by 2. And phi P3 equals to this angle 90 degree. So put here 90 degree. And 
then calculate phi of calculate phi of minus 2 plus 3 is a angle of departure with minus 2 plus 3 is a 180 degree minus 180 degree minus 10 inverse 3 by 2 plus 10 inverse 3 by 2 plus 90 degree this is equivalent to minus 90 degree so angle of departure equals to minus 90 degree with respect to minus 2 plus 3 z similarly with respect to with respect to minus 2 minus 3 z just basic idea of angle of departure for minus 4k equals to 0 s equals to minus 2 minus 3z k equals to 0 and s equals to minus 2 minus plus 3z k equals to 0 with respect to this point draw projection line from this point to this pole this point to this pole and parallel to this angle then phi of minus 2 minus 3 is a equals to plus 90 degree similar so this is the angle of departure for complex conjugate pole so finally what is the design of or what is the root locus plot what is the root locus plot so draw first imaginary axis this is the imaginary axis this is the minus imaginary axis real axis minus real axis and the pole position first drop design pole position s equals to 0 k equals to 0 second pole second pole s equals to minus 4 k equals to 0 third pole sorry this is the third pole s equals to minus 2 plus 3 z k equals to 0 s equals to minus 2 minus 3 z k equals to 0 pole 0 location and this point point of asymptote sigma minus 2 at that point, the angle of asymptotes this is the 45 degree one thirty five degree two twenty five degree and 315 degree, 315 degree. And the breakaway point, one point minus two, another point minus two, one point five eight Z. Minus two plus one point five eight Z or minus two minus one point five eight Z. This is the another breakaway point. Minus 2, minus 2, 1.58 z, minus 2, minus 1.58 j. So, first,
draw this pole. This is the midpoint, first breakaway point. So this is the first direction. This is the first direction. Movement of this pole S is equals to zero and K equals to zero poles. This is the movement. And this is the breakaway point. Another This is the direction and this is the midpoint. After meeting of this point, one pole direction is this and another pole direction is this. So next, This is the another breakaway point and this pole meet at minus two, 1.58 J and this is the another direction minus to minus 1.58 J and at that point, one pole direction Minus two twenty two hundred twenty five degree direction. That means this is the k tends to infinity, and black this pole. This is the direction c one five degree three hundred fifteen degree direction, and at that point, this is the. 2.56 Z S is equals to intersection point on the imaginary axis by using Routh criterion 2.56 Z and K equals to 148.6. And similarly, for this pole, this is the direction. of 135 degree angle and k tends to infinity. Another direction forty five degree angle of asymptotes k tends to infinity. K tends to infinity and this is the intersection point on the imaginary axis 2.56 j a equals to 148.6. So this is the root locus plot. So what is the stability? What is the stability? What is the stability? For this pole, for pole S equals to zero, K equals to zero, this is the origin point. So this is marginally stable point. After some time, the direction of left hand side direction, so increasing the stability up to breakaway point minus two. And after this point, the direction of course is this. This is the constant stable direction. This is the direction, sorry, this is the direction, constant stable direction. And after some time, this is the this is also another breakaway point minus two one point five eight j. After meeting of this point, the pole direction is this, and decreasing the stability because this is the direction of right hand side, and this is the marginally stable point at s equals to. 2.56 zk equals to 148.6. After this point, parallel to 315 degree and unstable. The pole is unstable because in this location, the direction of this, it, this is the right hand side 
movement and this pole this is the constant stable zone and stable and after breakaway point minus to 1.58 z the direction of right hand side movement and parallel to 225 degree so increasing the stability of this pole increasing the stability of this pole similarly for this pole this is the left hand side pole s equals to minus 4 k equals to 0 this is stable and decreasing the stability because movement right hand side and this is the breakaway point 2 minus 2 and the direction of pole is this constant stable and again the point minus 2 plus 1.58 z the direction of pole is this this is 135 degree direction so and also this is right hand side of the spline so stable increasing the stability but pole s equals to minus 2 plus 3z the direction of this stable but decreasing the stability and in this point this is the marginally stable point s equals to plus 2.56 z k equals to 148.6 after this point the direction of this pole 45 degree parallel to 45 degree angle asymptotes and decreasing the stability or decreasing the stability of this pole decreasing the stability of this pole also vice versa if this pole this direction or this pole the direction then vice versa so this is the stability of the root locus stability of the root locus so our problem g of s s of s equals to k by s into s plus 4 s square plus 4 s plus 13 this is the open loop transfer function and design of root locus of this and stability of the root locus already discussed so thank you